What's going on, Expedia Internet users? This is Dean from Waffly Pie, and we're back for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. You might be saying, this isn't where we left off, we were in Rugport Sewers at the end of the last episode. And that's correct. Except, when I was editing the last session, I noticed that on the way up this block, there's a little platform over here, and I've spoiled the surprise, but if we were to come down here in paper mode through the bars, we pick up a life shroom, which is a failsafe if you die. It automatically heals you 10 HP. Um, and we can throw out a regular mushroom, I guess. And that's uh, not all. On the way here, I actually picked up a Power Rush badge. The most overpowered badge in the game, at least when you stack up a whole bunch of them, which is the thing that I was talking about at the end of the prologue episodes. So that's actually kind of funny that we pick one up by accident, basically. Um, but that's everything, I think, that's over here, and so I will see you guys back um, in Rogueport Sewers, where we actually need to be. Oh yes, and before I forget, we can also do this now. Hey, you're Mario! Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? <laughs> my name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. So this guy's a total scammer, right? So we'll give him the money. Did he take all of it? No, okay, 100. Good. Okay, so back down here. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of the things Professor Franklin mentioned. And indeed it was, and so now we can finally enter the bars. And we see that this bug thing is over here, so we're gonna go squash him and kill him. Yeek! D don't eat me! Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. No! <laughs> Leave me alone, you meanies! Um, Mario, that was uncool. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were nicer. Relax, relax, little guy. We're not bullies, I swear. For real? Phew. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an ink an accident. Um, aren't you one of the creatures from Bogley Woods? Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? No! You must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No! It's the end! x knots What the heck are those? Sound like tissues. <laughs> to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots come to where I live. They came inside a great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble, so I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree? Those are some, the same guys that kidnapped the princess. They want the crystal star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about the crystal star thingy. But we peenies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. We don't know sp about stars at all? Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, um... Uh, th what, the crystal star. <laughs> we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but it'll sure if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get those crystal stars before the X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. 
I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Okay. How do we get this badge? I guess we'll never know. Oh! And Dolphin crashed. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I didn't have a save, so... No more, uh... Badge. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Just conveniently happens to have a hallway hidden behind the wall. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. It's got some cool wood and vine motifs to it. Chapter 2, The Great Boggly Tree. If you like color, this might not be the chapter for you. Except for the ground. So, the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, alright. What'll we run into next? Um, okay. Just a little bit further and we should be able to see the Great Tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. So I'm gonna swap back out to Goombilla. And jump here, the, uh, so long as we're in this tall stuff, the dandelions or whatever have come popping up with us. Mwihihi. Time to get to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A. Find that Mario guy. And B. Steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. We must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what, you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It's, it was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian, for shame. Picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting. Greedy. But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out that sketch of that Mario guy you got from Grotus. Mwihihi. <laughs> oh! What? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... <laughs> oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh, what's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for that such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. No, no, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such an impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that only rash the only rationale your type understands is force. And she steals the necklace. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but Beldum, oh, you're horrid. 
We can just go right up and talk to them because they apparently don't know who we are. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Scram. Right now. I have no business with you. Sniff, sniff. Uh, mm. So, they're really good at their jobs, obviously. Here we've got a cool piranha plant. He's gray. And hit me somehow. Luigi's in that end, so that's cool. So, let's get a towel. Okay. I really, really hope that stops happening. Bill is pretty damaged, I never noticed. Uh, that we didn't heal. Alright, does it crash right now? No. That's a pale prana. You know about these guys, the famous prana plants. Their colorless subspecies is adapted to the boggly woods. Ah, oh, the wonders of nature. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you try to jump on them, they'll chomp you. Chomp on you. This guy, let me guess, it's a pale cleft. Just a cleft. A rock had a jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. Max HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 2. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pr pretty effective usually. If nothing seems to work, you can always just run. Well, fortunately, I don't need to run because we now have Earth Tremor. This is the first time we'll use a special move in this run, I think, um, yeah. And this is how they work. You get a little special little minigame, and they're different, except for one is a, a recreation of another, but for the most part they're all pretty separate. And this one deals earthquake-type damage which is particularly effective on Clefs, because not only does it deal more than enough to kill him, um, if it didn't, it would have knocked him over. So that's nice. Oh, actually don't particularly want to fight another one. And we can get Coops back out, actually. I would fight him, but... Um, since Earth Tremors are only way of attacking, and I just used it, uh, the 2 SP required, I don't, can't use it again. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Not before we get this skin coupon and make Punio jump a little bit in the background. Um, so all of the pipes in this place have this little uh, mouse hole in the front so that the punies can get through, which I guess makes sense. But it's a nice little touch and they don't just jump on top and go down like everything else. So, here in the Great Tree, we've got a very unnatural looking door. Uh, oh no, what's the matter? Um, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it, and I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Um, uh, hmm. Um, mm, uh, got it. Where could he be leading us? Up the ramp of the, the route. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. 
we can get in through here. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it was going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worrywart, but how the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it. Flurry. Surely Madame Flurry's power can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this. She can use the wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Okay. Okay. 